This is Darren Stoner with The Perfect Bit. I want to explain the mechanics of uh, why we come up with it. Every one of our bits has a ball joint in it, every one. And the reason for that is it alleviates a couple issues. And the first one is this, it's easy to explain with a ring snaffle. Almost everybody in the world has rode in a ring snaffle at some time and I ask them, at, whenever you break your horse at the pole, turning loose with your hands, what's the first reaction the horse wants to do? Everybody says he wants to root and stick his nose out. The reason why is, here it is in our horse's mouth. Whenever we pull, we know we put pressure on the corners. When we pull back, we put pressure. But people don't think about the mechanical hinge point here. So when I pull back, this has to go forward. And that's going right in the roof of his mouth. So the ball joint, when it does hit in the roof of his mouth, we've seen it where a horse gets stiff. He wants to gap his mouth and root his nose. The ball joint allows the mouthpiece to float between the roof of the mouth and the tongue. So even though we're pulling back and our horse takes his head between his legs or up in the air, it's not poking him back out. That's, that's the one thing about the attribute. The next one is when we move into the shanks, same thing with the mouthpiece. It lets it stay in between so it's not poking him. The next thing is if I'm going forward and turn my horse, this is going to rotate. Now I'm working on the corners of his mouth and pulling on the opposite side just like I trained him in a ring snaffle. Our older bits that are hooked together, when you do one, this one has to go with it. Now the issue for the horse is this. Every time I turn, I push him over, I pull him around, and this one does go, what we're really doing is applying curb chain pressure because they're both coming back. And that signal is stop. Then when he slows down in the turn, everybody goes to kick it. Now our horse is going, wait a minute, why are you pulling on my chin and kicking me in the belly at the same time? So this way it gives you independence from each side so he gives a clear signal. Then you can see no matter what we do with our hands, you can see I am not hurting the roof of the horse's mouth. People, we don't want pain in his mouth that way. We don't, anytime that's going to cause, it's going to cause him to be aggravated and not give us 100%.